the seventh-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks, hosting the Tennessee Volunteers. Releasing the sunshine, then it'll go right into darkness, into that shadow. 94 mile an hour fastball for strike one, and we're underway. Rolled that one in there. Hit well to left. Franklin turns around, looks up, and it's in the hog pen. 11th home run of the year for Lipsius, and it's the Volunteers who strike first. That's one of the few pitches that Campbell didn't have some finish on early. It hung over the plate, and Lipsius did not miss. See where this pitch is. It ends up. It's belt high. And you see Crochet. He's going to be six foot five and has great extension from that three quarters arm slot. Start for the first three weeks. Pokes one down into shallow right. This ball will drop. Career hit number 297 for Ezell. Goodhart will poke one into left. Ezell will round third. Solari will bobble the ball. Ezell will score without a throw. Martin held at second base, and this game is tied at one. Boy, he has done that all season long. Big rip and a miss. And Fletcher down on strikes. Down on strikes. Kerstad hits one off of Crochet. Picks it up with the bare hand and still gets Kerstad at first. A wave and a miss. The first three reached. Crochet sets down the next three. Over the course of a start. I think so. Walks Nesbitt, however, to begin the second inning. B that Arkansas can have their way with. Nesbitt's running. The throw will bounce and propel into center. Nesbitt hesitated, but he'll advance to third without a throw. Stolen base and an air on Gray. Crochet gets the wave of the miss. Soft comebacker for Crochet. Long flip to first. That's outstanding exactly what I think Jack Kinley might have missed his mistimed his jump. That ball went almost beside his glove. Hit one to the hill in left center and smokes this one to left for another base hit. Gray will stop at second even with two outs on the sharp single. Just down and out again. And the bases Ooh. are loaded. Campbell needs a strike. Rolled into left for a base hit. And this may score a pair, and it will. Franklin bobbles the ball. And that's going to give a free base to third. That ball rolls to the backstop. Campbell wasn't backing up the play. And three score on that crazy play that may involve two airs. Well, wow, great job of hitting right there. And then the base hit out there. Franklin, he really doesn't have a play at the plate, but then he takes his eye off the baseball. Then the ball just skips right past Nesbitt. The runner kind of slid into him and kind of knocked him down. Now just trying to get through this third. Gets the wave of the miss. Four runs all season. That's going to be trouble. Lipsius will charge and throw, and Martin will beat it with his good speed. Hooks one down the right field line. Ammons was playing deep. Still has to take it on a bounce. Martin will score easily to cut the Volunteers' lead in half. A long single from Fletcher, but it's a 4-2 game. Kerstad was down nothing in two and ends up working the walk. Wow, what a great at-bat zone by Matthew Wilbanks. To me, that's probably good enough for a strike, Troy, the way it sweeps across the plate. Right. But ball four. Another payoff pitch. Carrying well to center. This will drive home a run. Charleston underneath it. Boy, lucky to make that catch. Fletcher will score and curse down to third, and it's a one-run game. Yeah, that's a really good at-bat by Jacob Nesbitt. 75th pitch for Crochet. Off the tip of the glove of Rucker, and this game is tied. Kenley, a daring play, went too far around second base and was tagged out by Martinez. The run did score. Curse had crossed home plate before Kenley was tagged out. Hard hit. Martin looked like he wanted to backhand it, then got in front of it, and the ball just slipped out of his hands. Volunteers third baseman. And the walk puts a couple of men on for Solari. Hit hard in the gap. Right center field. Fletcher's done it again. How many times has he made sensational catches? You almost expect the incredible effort, and he laid out. There, you're thinking there's no way he's catching that ball. Not only does he have to lay out, but 
he's having to reach across his body. Way has been his out pitch. Mile high pop up. Fletcher doesn't see it. Has no clue, and Morton's not going to get there. Fletcher fires home, safe at the plate, and two will score on a ball that wasn't seen by Fletcher, and Martin couldn't catch. Pitch count continues to evolve for Campbell. Durke rifles one to right. This will chase home Russell, and it's a three-run Tennessee lead. All seven of their runs have scored with two outs tonight. Has not had to empty their bullpen on a Friday night. Another one in the gap. Fletcher on the move will track it down to end the fifth inning. Just lead off man. Charleston was playing a deep center, so he'll take that on a bounce. Chance for another double play, but Rucker with the boot and everybody safe. Crochet. Hit in the gap. Deep left center. Back to the bar. It's going to go. Jacob Nesbitt slams a two-run homer to left field. And we are tied on the blast. Red shirt freshman Jacob Nesbitt just hammered that ball. Cutter had a little movement down, but that ball was spanked to the gap in left center. Rucker's going to have extra bases. Fletcher plays it back into second base. Nobody's at second, and Kenley has to race over to grab it. Lead-off double by Jake Rucker. Pitch in this game, and we're only in the sixth. Chopper, that is a fair ball, but both runners are going to be safe. Cops was in no position to throw out Charleston. Ammons the batter. Charleston is running, and the throw is going to get him. 29 for 31 this season. Arkansas throws through. Rucker held it third. Two-strike pitch. Cops will try and finish him off. The strikeout will be completed with a throw to first. And the Volunteers at first and third, one out, and they do not score. Ezel hits a line drive to right. That's going to go. It clears the fence. And the Razorbacks have taken the lead. Well, that's one thing that happens when you throw 100 miles an hour. The ball comes in in a hurry, and it leaves in a hurry. That ball was smoked by Trevor Zell. Now he's just two hits shy away from 300. So he had some more arm issues, but... Matt Goodhart keeps on smoking baseballs in SEC play. Remember, he began tonight hitting 443 in conference games only. Two for four again this evening. Kenley strokes one to left. This ball's going to drop. Goodhart's going to be waved in. The throw is going to beat him. Goodhart slides, and he's safe. Our plate umpire said he went around the tag of Gray. Matthew Wilbanks was on top of it. Tony Vitello already coming out for a conversation. He reaches around with that hand that's hurting. No, it's you, the, the left hand. And that's fair. Into the corner. Jacob Nesbitt has knocked in six runs in the game. In at second. Safe with a double. And what a night for the redshirt freshman. Six runs batted in. On the check swing. Jason Bradley, our first base umpire, punches out Opitz. Rocketed towards the gap in right center field. This is down for a base hit, and Kerstead with the bobble. And it'll be a double. Drill to center. This should chase home a run. Fletcher won't even be able to offer a throw, so Larry scores easily, and it's a three-run game. Couple of RBIs tonight for Pete Durkin. Dretch. Martin can't get there. Base hit by Martinez. Both teams in double figures and hits already, and we're in the top of the seventh. This game's three hours old, by the way, and we're in the seventh inning, and that one will go to the corner. And it may chase home two, but stopping at third base will be Martinez on a double from Rucker, and it's an 11-9 game. A strikeout to end the inning.
Wouldn't that be interesting? Dribbler to first. Durke will flip for the put out at first. Arkansas leaves a couple of runners on base, but the Volunteers need at least a base runner. Painted outside corner at 96. Wow. Golf towards left. Franklin back, nearing the wall. A little bit of a snow cone, but he made the running catch. Wow. An absolute dynamite catch. Payoff pitch to Durke. Strike three called, game over. And the Razorbacks come back a couple of times in the contest, then hold on for an 11-9 win. What an outstanding win for Arkansas.